We are looking at page 1125. I'm going to cover two lessons, all right, in the same um, video lesson here, pages 5 through page 9, which will get us practically up to the checkup. Um, I have another video for page 10, and then moving forward from there, which will get us up to the checkup and a little bit beyond. Let's talk about... Um, Ooh, wowzers. This one looks complicated, doesn't it? We're going to try to factor all of these down to find all of the parentheses, the little factors that we can, and then cancel from top to bottom. So this is similar to what we did, but instead of just one term, we're multiplying times another one. So we have even more involved. Can we factor b squared plus 2bc plus c? And I'm going to propose to you that B plus C would give us that. Let's just double check. B times B is B squared. The outer is BC and the inner is BC. So when you add BC plus BC, you have 2BC. And then for the last term, C times C is C squared. Yay! Now this looks similar to this, doesn't it? But this one does not have a 2 in the front. So that means that we cannot factor that to this, because then it would be the same as that. So there is no way to factor this. So we're going to just leave this, but you're going to see some magic happen in a minute here. All right. Let's take this. This one's easy. B squared minus C squared is B plus C, B minus C, because we have the difference of perfect squares. So put the B in the front of both, C at the back, plus minus, boom, we're done. That would be this. Now, do you remember, we talked about this a little bit, and we're going to hit it a few more times in this pace. We had to follow that template. So the template here is first... Uh, minus second, okay, and then first squared plus first times second plus second squared. All right, but we're going to use B for F, use C in place of S. So I'm going to plug in here and have B minus C, parentheses, B squared plus BC, plus c squared. All right, are you following what I'm doing? You see where all of that comes from? Right from this. So when we factor perfect cubes, we come up with this longer template. All right, now this is being multiplied, so we can just compare anything across the top with anything down here on the bottom and find factors that we can cancel out from top to bottom. Oh, here's an easy one right off the bat. B plus C is going to cancel B plus C. Yay! B minus C is going to cancel B minus C. <gasps> Look at this. Da, 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 da. Here's the magic I was telling you about. This big term right here, three, it's a trinomial, I have three things in here is exactly the same as this one now. Ha ha ha! So we can cancel these and you only have a very simple answer left. All right, I'm not gonna finish it, you finish it. But we took you through the hardest part. Let's look up here, because there's a trick on this. Two things, one is when we have divided by a fraction, we take the second fraction and we flip it over. And then we multiply, and then it's exactly like this problem here, okay? So I'm going to just real quick do that. A plus B over A squared plus B squared. All right, now times A to the fourth minus B to the fourth over A squared minus B squared. Okay, you with me so far? We just took the numerator, denominator, flipped them, okay? And now we can divide. Oh, excuse me, multiply. So we've turned division into multiplying by the reciprocal. Now let's factor these. Can we factor this? A squared plus B squared? Actually, no, we can't. We can factor the sum of perfect cubes. Okay, if this was A to the third and B to the third, we could follow a pattern. 
Um, if it's squared, we can factor that. But when it's plus, we can't. We have to leave it. So let's look over here at this part. I'm going to leave this over a squared plus b squared. Now, let's factor this numerator. What is the square root of a to the fourth? And it's going to be a squared plus whoop, b squared and a squared minus b squared. You see that? So a squared times a squared is a to the fourth. The b squared times b squared, positive times negative, gives me negative b to the fourth. And then the middle term would be positive a squared b squared and negative a squared b squared, and that's going to cancel out. So we just factored that, and then down here I have a squared minus b squared. And sometimes in order to factor it, we need to go further with the a squared and b squared. We could turn it into a plus b, a minus b. And then we could do the same down here, a plus b, a minus b. But actually, look at this. This is the same as this. So this term in the numerator will cancel this term in our denominator. And then, da 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 da, da, da notice this term in the numerator ends up being the same as this term in the denominator. So some of these actually do, when they say simplify, actually do get a lot simpler, okay? Now they don't always simplify that far down. Sometimes you're left with still something in the numerator and the denominator. Thankfully in the score key, they don't just give the answer. They show all the steps involved. And so uh, when you go to score, if you've shown your work, you should be able to see where you went wrong if you made a mistake or if there's another step they wanted you to take that you didn't get to yet, okay? Um, I took two of the problems from this page. Hopefully the rest of these on these two pages will make sense. It's kind of like a game. It's a puzzle. You're looking for, after you factor it, common factors then that you can cancel from top to bottom. All right, finish this. Move on to page 10. There's a lot of cool stuff ahead in this pace. This definitely is more challenging than some of the other algebra that we've done so far in Algebra 2.